For heaven's sake, why can't you give me a straight answer? I've been living to this moment for two years. Before I went abroad, you promised you'd marry me the second I got back. Didn't you? Didn't you? I know I did, Jimmy. What? You've given me little enough encouragement in the meantime. But you never suggested you'd change your mind. You haven't changed your mind? Does it look as if I had? Do you think I'd have done what I did if I hadn't been sure of my feelings? But that was two years ago. Yes, and ever since my family have never stopped badgering me to alter things. But why should I? I love you and... How they must hate me. Who? Your family, for making that will. But it's my money. Why shouldn't I leave it to you if I want to? Oh, Jimmy. Where did you meet this fellow, Palatine? Who is he? Are you engaged to him or aren't you? Jimmy, please. I'll talk to you about it in the morning. I'll phone you. So it's true, then? You and Victor Palatine? But I didn't say so. Oh, for God's sake, Della. Jimmy, please, not tonight. Close. I know it's around here somewhere. Can you? Avenue close, Gov. Take the second on the right and it's on the left, about a hundred yards along. Thank you very much. Knew it wasn't far away. Good night. Good night. Right on time as usual. Had something about working for the chief. You don't know where you are. Yeah, doing all the dirty work and getting ruddy little for it. Cool, no flipping mustard.
You received this letter this morning, Miss Denton. Is that right? Yes. Jimmy must have pushed it through the box during the night. And you say this young man, uh, Pewter, was at the Car House party last night? Yes, that's right, Inspector. He was still there, sir, with Miss Denton here and the others, when we were called in about the robbery. He hadn't seen or heard anything. Hmm. I'm not surprised. He seems to have had something else in his mind. You're sure this is Pewter's handwriting, Miss Denton? Oh, yes, I know it well. Well, it certainly does seem to constitute a threat. I see he says you made a fool of me for the last time. Have there, in fact, been other times? Oh, well, Jimmy's always been jealous, of course. He's madly in love with me, you know. <laughs> I can't think why. Don't you indeed? Well, what do you want us to do about it, Miss Denton? You say you're leaving for Scotland in the morning to get married? Yes. To Mr... Uh, Palatine, Victor Palatine. He's really something rather big in the city, you know. Company promoter. Yes, we're being married quietly. Victor hates publicity, and the public have been seeing rather a lot of me recently. Yes, I get your point, Mr. Denton. You really want protection for a night, is that it? Yes. Of course, when Jimmy realizes we're married, I'm sure he'll come to his senses. But tonight I shall be all alone in the flat and... Well, I suppose we can post a man outside to keep an eye on you, though, frankly, I... Oh, very well, we'll see. <laughs> you don't think I'm being silly about this, Inspector, do you? I'll answer that question in the morning. What's your address? 807 Lime Trees House. It's the penthouse flat. You know the block. Yes, I know it. There'll be a man there at 8 o'clock. Right, sir? Thank you, Inspector. You've been most charming. I'm glad. Really, I'm terribly grateful. I wish I could... Oh, I know. The very thing. I only got them this morning. There you are. You can have it framed and put it on your desk. It'll be delightful. Thank you very much. Mr. You're very welcome. Goodbye, Inspector. Goodbye. Goodbye. If you ask me, Sarge, Wilson and Wright don't know a clue who my aunt Fanny. Three times I've been turned down for plain clothes jobs. And you know who's behind it, don't you? Detective Sergeant Blinky Wright. That old flatfoot. The next time I see him, I'm going to say... Well, hello, Sarge. Just going on duty, Sarge. Good morning, all. Bye. Oh, sorry. Oh. Well? Miss Della Dayton. Oh, so you know me. Yes, please. I mean... 49? Yes, Sarge. Just going on duty, Sarge. Well, do that bottom button up to start with. Oh, yes, Sarge. Pardon me, Miss Denton. It's all right. Well, there we are. <laughs> yes. Oh, can I get you a taxi? Oh, that would be divine. Oh, right. Well, I just... Uh... Constable! You'll stay right here. But, Sarge... There's a cab rank on the corner, miss. Turn right when you go out. That's the way out. There. Oh, very well. Well, I just... Did... 49. It's all right. I think you're very sweet. Who do you think you are? Casanova? <laughs> 